Hey guys, I'm Dr. Tanya Jain and I very recently begun as a first year PG resident in radiology. So today's video is about first year subjects and how to approach them, how to revise them in the very limited time that you have right now before this year's NEET PG. So usually what I've seen is most logon ke third year and final year subjects zyada strong hote hain. They have paid more attention, they have given more time to those profs. Uh, so first year and second year slightly on the little bit weaker side especially a few subjects say on at biochem so it's not that the first year subjects don't come definitely come overall weightage if we compare with final year is a little bit less but we can't leave any subject in NEET PG mein, this is an important rule no subject should not go away it's a very holistic paper we will see the questions so we will see uh, the general consensus ki kitne approximately questions aate hai. sometimes a particular basic science subject can have more weightage sometimes it may not but generally uh, there are about 30 questions overall that will uh, might come from first year so we have to do them nevertheless and uh, most people find it difficult to revise but first year subjects karke jane hai basic fact karke jane hai Okay, so uh, another starting with a very general thing, not just specific for first year subjects, but for all subjects in general, if you're thinking right now, what to do PYQ as in previous year questions versus notes, do PYQs. PYQs versus TNDs, again, although TNDs are very important, very effective source of revision agar PYQs nahi kare hai, even till now or you're not thorough with them then definitely PYQs first priority in general PYQ versus anything previous year questions first and foremost so if any subject that you're especially weak at and you haven't touched upon previous year subjects that is previous three years is sufficient pehle go karne uske baad anything else about that particular subject now starting with anatomy which I feel is the most dreaded subject of all times at least in my opinion. Uh, so it fetches you about 9 to 10 questions which is quite decent and uh, my main notes were from Dr. Ashwini uh, DBMCI as well as uh, from DAMS. So it was a mix between the two uh, but for the last minute revision I really recommend Dr. Ashwini's TND uh, if you have done so you can revise it like I revised it even one day before actually going to the exam because it was a difficult subject it's volatile and the good thing about the TND that is it has a lot of uh, dissection specimens and is very visual and pehle itne questions nahi aate the itne dissection specimens were more restricted to INICT aajkal need PG mein bhi aate hain so uh, it's a good uh, revision tool at the last minute Nahi toh, even DBMC ka, uh, DBMCI ka vibe if you have done uh, the anatomy part uh, also is like a short version of the TND so you can go with that as well uh, other than that histo uh, so one question does come from histo so it's a hit or miss if your histo is good pehle se from first year you're a lucky person and you can get this question but at this point it's up to you how much effort you want to put into histo I didn't put as much effort into histo I only did the basic things so you can do that again uh, uh, DBMCI ke vibe mein hai there's a histo section even the TND has four five at least four five histo that is uh, revised you can do that or not it's up to you a question but definitely aega hi aega from histo uh, now in anatomy, I want to emphasize that everything which is uh, karte the na, that was applied or clinical anatomy becomes very very important. So nerve injuries is one such topic which is covered from anatomy and ortho both. And I, when I mean nerve injuries, I don't just mean upper limbs. Of course, upper limbs are very important. Upper limb injuries do come. Uh, also do cranial nerves and uh, you know injuries with their specific features like what will be the sensory loss uh, if that particular nerve is injured what will be the functionality loss everything about nerve injuries you have to have to cover similar to that again dermatomes heavily tested once again and brainstem syndromes is something which is again integrated with the uh, physio integrated with medicine so if you've done it from there well and good and uh, in in general, uh, as weightage comes, upper limb has a huge weightage. So, muscles, 
in general muscles from the entire body come uh, they are now it's becoming like a trend they are asking a particular muscle they will point to and they will ask its function or nerve supply something like that uh, related to that muscle so that comes upper limb in general is very important especially small muscles of the hand their supply dermatomes everything from upper limb is important and uh, similar to that general anatomy especially the part of joints cartilage ye sab you know which are uh, primary fibrous joints and different their functions so they can ask a random joint from anywhere head to toe and ask you its function in a little bit of a clinical language but essential thing is that they will ask you that fact anatomy mein they will try to make it a clinical question but at the end of the day you have to remember that fact and you will be able to do that question another thing that is tested every year is something about the arterial tree so they will ask कहीं का भी कोई भी आर्टरी का विच ब्रांचेज इट कैन गिव विच ब्रांच इट हैज ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम समथिंग लाइक दैट सो सम ईयर इट कैन बी अबाउट कोरोनेरी आर्टरी समटाइम्स इट कैन बी अबाउट सर्कल ऑफ विलेस यू नो समाइम्स इट कैन बी अबाउट द सील एक्ट ट्रंक्स सो इट्स अ वेरी गुड आइडिया टू रिवाइज द आर्टीरियल ट्रंक वन डे प्रायर इफ यू हैव डिफिकल्टी इन दैट और इन जनरल बिफोर गोइंग फॉर द एग्जाम ये करके ही जाना इवन पुराने हमारे बी डी सी के दर यूज टू बी दिस बिग चार्ट दैट ऑल्सो यू can do or if you have you know some other source just revise arteries once before going again like i said so anything that is clinical in anatomy means lot of things we used to leave also in first year like lymphatics pe koi itna dhyan nahi deta tha but as a clinician uh, cancers they do have specific lymphatics that they drain to so the those lymph node groups do become important and they become automatic questions for your examiner again things that are integrated from surgery point of view from ortho or any diseases for that matter anything clinical they will ask like you know snuff box anatomy uh, uh, you know uh, the muscles involved the tendons involved in uh, tenosynovitis a uh, certain triangles are clinically very important so they can be asked you know like callet triangle hepatobiliary triangle then parotid surgically is very important how to localize the facial nerve these are all very important questions rotator cuff injuries are very very important in ortho so their anatomy again becomes important thyroid various ligaments uh, of the thyroid you know which one helps in deglutition which one helps in you know prevents its upward extension lower extension all of that these are very uh, obvious questions that they are going to ask again you know prostate bph which lobe is uh, uh, enlarged in bph which part is affected by cancer things like that liver you know the surgical uh, anatomy of the liver like how the right and left lobe is divided um, that particular anatomy, at me those lines and even in guanal canal for that matter so hernia because hernia is a very basic topic of surgery so that anatomy obviously becomes very very important another problematic area in anatomy is embryo again uh, i would suggest focus more on the applied part of embryo like uh, i had mentioned in peds also like fetal circulation is an area that is frequently frequently tested so you must know in and out about fetal circulation and congenital anomalies so these are your things that will come in surgery in medicine so they are pathological diseases but their basis comes from embryo so they will ask the embryological basis ki disease hua kaise so that is clinically important and it will be asked and your basic things jo ki we know are very very uh, high yield like pharyngeal arches questions about pharyngeal arches aortic arches derivatives so derivatives is also one thing everybody finds difficult so there is uh, this video of uh, dr zainab vora from an academy so uh, in her free classes sections either it is an mer or an anatomy revision video about um, the derivatives so you can do that that one uh, one hour video is very sufficient to just go through the derivatives quickly usually the question is not very tough but they do ask and uh, like i said before also dissection specimens are becoming important so uh one thing you know if you were very very good at dissection in first year which i was not then kudos to you you will definitely be able to do these questions better uh if you weren't you can do what i did that is uh dr ashwini is there are three four videos uh even freely available on youtube so they he's discussed like upper limb separately lower limb abdominal specimens so you will get a broad idea and you can do these before you go to the exam so your dissection specimens will be more or less covered 
Now coming to physiology, so uh, physiology uh, usually people uh, find it easy, it's their strong subject in first year and if that's so you can actually just uh, revise it very briefly before going to the exam because it fetches you 5 to 10 questions at the most. Why I'm saying 5 initially is because core physiology might only have 5 to 6 questions and the other ones are integrated. So many a times it goes in the purview of medicine or path or some other subject. But remember physiology questions are usually they're easy, they're conceptual and again yes they're integrated. Especially, especially things like you know your CNS, your brainstem syndromes, your spinal cord syndromes and everything. So if you've covered them in medicine you, ne you may not necessarily want to cover them from physio as well because it's about to be the, it's got to be the same thing. Uh, but like I did my DBT from DAMS in my year it was done in an integrated systemic manner. So the systemic physio was covered very very well so if you want a quick revision you can maybe see the physio parts of those um, systemic videos from that year's DVD but what is missed out and what form the core physiology questions are general physio and NMJ so this is important don't forget to do general physio and NMJ because they will fetch you marks not just in NEET PG also in NICT and uh, you can if you physiology is weak and you really need revision videos to help you so marrow revision videos are good and if you have done first aid before then you can revise physiology from first aid but only if you've done it before now like 40 days to the need pj i would not recommend that you pick up an entire book like first aid and try to read it so if you've done it before it's a good revision source so some topics that are core physiology that you can touch upon before you are uh, giving the exam. One is numericals. So although INICT mein zyada poochte hain uh, as compared to NEET PG, but uh, ek do numericals aa sakte hain. Last year bhi one came on sodium deficit. So uh, you can do and these numericals are mostly from general physio. So if your general physio is strong, you don't have to worry about them that much because as such numericals are easy. Calculation is not much. If you know the basic concept, you will be able to do them for sure. Secondly, receptors. Now, this is a core physiology topic and you have to do everything about receptors, especially the ones to, which are clinically important, you know, like your blood receptors um, and, you know, like diarrhea treatment may, which receptors are being used by ORS, etc, etc. And if you're weak in them, there's an MER class by Zainab Vora uh, Ma'am from Unacademy. So, you can go through that. For uh, any topic in general, I feel if you're really weak in them and you want a quick review, so Midnight Express review revision series from Zainab ma'am uh, from an academy so you can just go through uh, those topics and see okay this class this particular topic I want to watch and you can watch it they're very good then uh, again hormones uh, integrated with medicine endocrinology is important especially the ones concept disease mein konsa badta hai and uh, physiologically what levels are high at what time of the day like you know when you talk about uh, say prolactin, cortisol, things like that. So they do ask uh, hormones a lot. And in, you know, every system, there are certain pet physiology topics which you would also know by yourself, like cardiology, there's JVP. You know, if you're doing recipe, obviously you're not going to miss out on uh, the lung capacities and the spirometry and the, you know, V by Q ratios, mountain sickness and also these are very easy topics. They are generally tested topics. So one topic I feel everybody misses out on which gives you a good yield is GIT. So GIT hardly it will be 10 pages, 15 pages in your notes, that's it. But we tend to skip it and usme se sabse zyada questions aate hain. So reflexes are tested, hormones of GIT are tested. Uh, in fact, you know, like if you, rem uh, clinical questions like when you will do an ileal resection, what will be the deficiency, what will be the symptoms of the patient, etc. So ye sab poochte hain. Again, renal, CNS, CVS, in sub may we all know there are some pet peeve questions and a JG apparatus will come in renal, uh, afferent arteriolar, efferent arteriolar, yes, uh, like any here, any part of systemic physiology will be tested. So if you can do that along with your medicine revision, it will be good and you will save time. Lastly, coming to biochem. Uh, so biochem is a minimum like corresponding to 15 questions. So last year, in fact, 16 to 17 questions came, but definitely 12 questions or above will come in biochem. So out of all three subjects, if your biochem is weak, do work on that in this last time because it will fetch you marks. It wins out when it comes to first year subject. 
uh, and so the revision source that I liked was Dr. Rebecca James um, revision videos on marrow so you can use that again first aid tables are actually very beautiful when it comes to biochem so if you have again if you have done them before only then you you should uh, you can revise them right now otherwise your notes i'm sure will have all important clinical tables so just go through uh, your uh, tables from your own original notes and even zenab ma'am has a couple of mers dedicated to biochem so you can do that so topics that you should not miss again nutrition cannot emphasize how important nutrition is from all points of view biochem especially and of course biochem then clinical disease tables are the point of focus when it comes to biochem so all tables like dyslipidemias very high high yield you know lysosomal storage disorders glycogen storage disorders your etc inhibitors there's another table dna repair disorders urea cycle disorders even amino acid derivatives and also these are very commonly asked they are asked repeatedly in each and every paper please don't uh, miss out on these tables in fact if you're weak at them it's a good idea to just see these tables you know couple of days before the exam will fetch you marks for sure so another uh, area of interest in biochem is enzymes this is a pure biochem topic you have to do enzymes from their mechanisms to their names you know the graphs we used to do of enzymes their uh, inhibition competitive non-competitive inhibition all of that and i don't know why these days they are trying to ask tricky questions about the names and you know just a pdh complex may konse konse enzymes hai, and you know if you've remembered them through short form just try to see enzymes Ka pura naam because that's how they're trying to do you know trick you in NPG these days so enzymes in general very important and enzyme deficiencies obviously ye to aana hi hai har paper mein aana hai so uh, clinical diseases they will ask you what enzyme is deficient they will give you a brief history ki this these are the features of the symptom and what is the deficient enzyme another thing that they love to ask is the accumulated substance because clinically also hum enzyme kam test karte hain uh, urine aur blood mein accumulated substance zyada test karte hain so we have to know ki kaun sa substance accumulate ho raha hai and what is the uh, substance that we have to give to supplement to improve the condition of the patient so clinically this is important and again heavily tested so you have to do this for all diseases you should know and another area that uh, they love to ask is fasting almost every year they will ask questions on fasting means kab glycogenolysis kab tak active hota hai kab tak hepatic glycogenolysis hota hai ketone body synthesis kab kaise start hota hai how do you integrate it with the tca cycle uh, you know what enzymes are working uh, when so your well fed state starving state everything about fasting you have to know and of course when you're talking about fasting everything about insulin you have to have to know so definitely do this before your exam then another area is genetics so genetics is again more for inict which asks you a lot of updates about genetics certain new things pcr this and that little less for neat pg but your basics of genetics still do come so not as much importance as metab but it will come it might come one or two questions might come from genetics but inheritance of diseases is something that will come in all papers in neat pg and inict as well and this is again an integrated path maybe we de, uh, we do peds biochem everywhere you know there is a list for what are the autosomal uh, dominant diseases ki list autosomal recessive diseases ki list all four of those even mitochondrial diseases so there are uh, very easy mnemonics available on every platform even on the net so just do that do these four or five lists of inheritance then mitochondrial dna again uh, it is frequently asked so just do a little bit about that and lastly tca cycle is another important uh, thing they do ask in metab so the conversions of the tca cycle you know acetyl coenzyme a kab kaise kaun se mein use hota hai what are as uses of nadph nadh fadh2 all of this they do ask some things related to the tca not exactly uh, you know core krebs cycle like what step comes after what not like that but the applied integrated aspects of this so i try to cover as much as possible in terms of how to not miss certain things in all these three first year subjects i'll try to make another one for the second year subjects as well which is a little more important in terms of weightage uh, when compared to the first year so uh, i'll put it up tomorrow or day after let's see and you can utilize these holidays that are here 
as a boon to save you if you are there in a difficult internship in delhi because i know how hard it can get so definitely finish off these volatile subjects uh, in the beginning of your revision cycle because it will give you a lot of anxiety towards the end and may you will get like ab main anatomy revise karu ya medicine you know what will fetch me more marks so don't uh, end up in that situation and try to finish basic sciences earlier on so hopefully you're here till the end of this video and it helped you out all the very best for your exams bye bye